Hey, it's me Ralph and today I'm going to be teaching you how to do the eye zoom transition in Adobe After Effects. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is bring in the footage to the timeline and now I'll just cut to the path that I want, which is the part where he's sitting on the chair. And now I'm going to resize and scale the footage to get rid of the black borders. Next, I'm going to duplicate this layer and freeze frame the new layer. We are doing this to increase the length of the video so we have more footage to play with. Next. Just adjust the length of the footage and bring it to the part where you want it to be in the timeline. Now, select both the layers and right click and select the pre-compose option. Now just give it a name and click on OK. Now you can see that we have it as a single layer. Next, bring in the footage of your subject. I have just taken a frame from the music video for this tutorial. Okay, now you want to make sure that your anchor point is on the eye that we are going to be doing this effect on. So to do that, just go to the transform section and adjust the anchor point and rescale your footage. Now, select the rectangle tool and draw a mask around your subject's pupil. And under the mask section, change the mask from add to none. Now. Right click on your mask and under the mask section, select the mask shape and change it to ellipse and click OK. Now you have a circular mask. Now zoom into the mask and adjust it so that it fits into the pupil. Now change the mask from none to subtract and just play around with the feathering of the mask to soften the edges and make it blend. Now, go back to the first frame in the timeline and under the transform, click on stopwatch icons to create keyframes. So now, create a keyframe for position, scale and rotation. Now, you can see the blue dots on the timeline, which indicate that there's a keyframe. Now go a few frames forward and set the same keyframes and this time, zoom into the subject a little. So now when you play back, you can see that the footage zooms in slowly. Now. Change the position of the keyframes on the timeline to make the zoom faster or slower. Now go to the part where you want the zoom transition to happen and just add the same keyframes on that frame. Now rotate the subject slightly and zoom in completely until the eyes are completely out of the frame. Now, just keep adjusting your keyframes until you find the right zoom speed and rotation. Now, go to the frame just before the eyes leave the frame and add two opacity keyframes, slightly apart. Set the last opacity keyframe to zero and now as you can see the edge of the eye just fades away. Now, to make the zoom more smooth, select all the keyframes and right click and select the keyframe assistant and select the easy ease option. Now you can see the zoom is somewhat smoother. Now let's do the same for the other keyframes too. Now as you can see the video has more of a speed ramped zoom. Now we need the chair footage to rotate and zoom along with the footage of the eye. So let's keyframe the rotation and zoom to rotate in sync with the footage of the eye. In the first frame, zoom out completely and set it back to normal once the eyes have disappeared. Now, keyframe the opacity on the first frame and add another opacity keyframe a few frames ahead. Now, set the first keyframe opacity to 0 and the second to 100% and adjust the distance between the two keyframes. What this does is it fades in the footage of the eye. Now, the edges of the mask are too soft, so let's go back to the mask setting and decrease the feather to something like 3. That looks much better. Next, let's add some radial blur to sell the rotation effect of the video. So we just add the radial blur to the chair footage. So go to the effects and presets column and search for radial blur and drag and drop it onto the chair footage. Now as you can see the video is blurred around the edges. Now we want to get rid of the blur as soon as the footage stops rotating. So to do that, we'll add a keyframe just a few frames before the rotation ends and we'll add another keyframe right where the footage stops rotating and we'll bring the amount of radial blur down to zero. 
Now, as you can see, the blur slowly ends as the rotation stops. That's it for today. Hope you like this video. If you did, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.